Okay, remember that little action we saw outside with Larry and uh, Clown903 on the fucking Jeep body? And they couldn't get the Jeep body off of the hill. Uh, it was an all-day venture that would have took my friend Pete probably about 30 minutes to do. Remember that fucking action? Well, guess what's going on today, Dave? We got the body down at the bottom of the hill there. Do you see it down there under the fucking tree? Do you see that? Yep. Okay. So what we got to do now is now Larry is actually taking the body off of the fucking Explorer. Or Ranger, or whatever the fuck he's doing. Because this is like a big Y2K conversion redneck style out in the fucking <laughs> Texas sun. Not even under the shade tree, dude. You see that what I'm sucks. saying? sucks. Yeah. I notice you, you're doing a lot of standing around here lately. Uh, Texas style, kicking up the boot action and, and feeling at home over here at my friend Pete's. Trying to. <laughs> Did you hear this guy? Yeah. It's like he thinks he's supposed to be here. He said it's a nice place, but the landlord's hard to get along with. <laughs> Is that funny, Dave? No. So you're not going to help us outside, are you, Dave? What do you want me to help with? It would be nice. Get a little help instead of all this standing around. It's so quiet over here, I didn't even know you were here. I'm thinking since it's afternoon time, it's siesta time under the car, on the creeper. I'm wondering who's taking a snooze on the fucking job when the boss man's gone, Dave. Not me. I don't have time to freaking sleep. Yeah, okay. Snooze on Let's the go out here and look at this pile of shit and see what the fuck's going on, Dave. So basically what we got here is another fucking mess. Uh, Larry, the fucking lawnmower guy style mess that says, uh, I'm going to do this job no matter what. Well, we'll see what happens. Hey, John. Yes. Uh, I see a contraption here, dude. I see a fucking mess. Hey, Larry. Yeah. How long is this body going to sit on these blocks here about before you decide to move it? About 15, more years. Hold on a minute. Whoa, whoa. What is the fucking come along doing here? Why you got to come along on this bitch? So is that like to hold it or something? Keeps it from going downhill. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. That some kid's gonna come back here, or a customer will come back here and it'll fall on them, then I'm gonna be liable. Oh man. With all those blocks and all that shit you got going on. Yeah. So, so, what are you gonna do once all this is done? Are you gonna leave my come along on that fucking deal? Well, first of all, it's not your come along. So okay. You don't need to give a fuck about it. So. But the thing is, bud, now we got a real hazardous contraption because you got this thing all jerry rigged up where it won't tip over. You know, it's terrible being safe sometimes. Alright, is it in neutral? No. You, know, you didn't even put it in neutral before no, you unhooked everything, Larry? I don't want it neutral because I don't want it rolling. I want to pull it and lock it up here. But you could have put a block on it, Larry. I don't want it. I could have done a lot of stuff, Pete. Man, I could have had this thing off yesterday, dude. Yeah, I'm glad. Okay. I'm glad. I need your lady, lady, lady. I need your lady, lady, lady. Oh, lady, oh, your lady. Fucking mess. How are you gonna get that thing in neutral since you unhooked the linkage? I don't want it in neutral. You gotta pull the thing out from I under the body, Larry. Right? I want I want to pull it locked up in gear. Yeah, okay, Mr. Funny fucking guy. No, I'm not being dude. funny. I don't want it rolling. You are serious. You're gonna drag that thing out and hopefully not hit that middle block when you do it. I didn't say I want I gotta see this. We got John out here and we got Dave over here with this Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper Dave that says they're here to help. Well, let's get something going here, dude. <laughs> Tell me what okay. to do. Boy, I don't know, bud. All right, so what we got here is Larry is actually going to drag this thing out from under this fucking frame. 
uh, in gear and if you look real close you can see that the back tire when he drags it out is going to hit those blocks and the body's going to fall on the fucking frame so um, what I'm saying is it's not going to work my bet is this is not going to fucking happen what do you think of Dave? Is got Dave, 50 50 chance. Is Dave here today? Is Dave here today? Mentally, yes. Uh, Dave's not here. Mentally, no. Dave's not yes. here. Who? Dave, who? Who the fuck is Dave? What do you want Dave to do, Larry? I don't need anybody. One person to drive. You said you needed two guys. Now I drug Dave out here to do something. I got John. I said, Dave, I think what you need to do, you need to go on the other side in case it tips that way. You can push it. To fall. You can push it. Okay, Larry, the, the thing I'm looking at here is I don't understand how you're going to get that back tire around the blocks that are in the middle of the back tire. God, I don't know, Pete. I have no idea. I have no idea. It's probably just going to come so fast, it's just going to pull it you right out. Man, it's going to be... Okay, if you say so. Okay, so this side basically looks like that side. Let's see what happens as uh, uh, VW John pulls the truck away from the fucking body as the body's jacked up on cinder blocks and uh, will not clear the tires. Here we go. What are we backing up for, Larry? Not high enough. Okay, so we're not ready? Nope. That's no. enough. Are we done for the day? Yep. We're not. We're over. Yep. It's done and uh, out and over, huh? That's it. That's all. Okay. All that for nothing. Nine man. hours for that. Jeez. Well, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, Larry. Okay, good deal. All right. Yeah, looks like you got to get another cinder block, bud. What happened? He needs another cinder block. You can't see the running board hitting the tire? Oh, yeah. It's too fucking low, dude. His calculational measurements weren't fucking on 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 I didn't story. Know how far the wheel was down. Okay, well we know now, Larry. I know the now. Wow. I felt safe in the truck. <laughs> so, <laughs> I felt safe. I could imagine. I, did you see how Dave snuck away? Dr. Pepper Dave snuck out of here and went and got himself another cold Dr. Pepper. I felt a little sorry for you guys on the ground. You got me a cold one there, Dave. Yeah, too bad it's not a cold butt. But you were supposed to stay. You were supposed to be down there as a protective guy to help us in case it fell. You could have taken your as soon as he said it's not gonna work, which is I knew it wouldn't, I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dave. Aren't you supposed to be doing some kind of mechanic work over here? Yeah, I'm waiting on parts. Always like you're always I waiting always, on yeah. Every time I talk to you, you're waiting on parts, Dave. You're a parts waiting fool, dude. Try to. I knock shit out. I know, you're a fast fucking working guy. Are you hooking John up on the uh, ball joints? Yeah, I'm trying to. Well, let's get something done. You got three cars here. You'd be working on something. As soon as he can Oh, I know what you're doing. Oh, I see. You're working on this. This is your job. A bag of potato chips and a, the Dr. Pepper. That's what you're working on. That's a good fucking job, bud. I try. <laughs> yeah, you are. You try, dude. All right, so uh, Dave finally found himself a little job to do while Rick, the mechanic guy, is gone. We ain't even met Rick yet. You haven't met Rick? Uh, uh, Rick is like uh, Waldo. Where's Waldo? Where's Rick? Rick's never here. He always leaves Dave in charge, and Rick is gone. So, uh, must be fucking nice. It's been about two weeks since we uh, visited with Larry last time, and uh, he was in the middle of putting the body on the fucking 4x4 frame. Let's see what the fuck he is doing today and where the fuck he is at on this project he calls Baby, or whatever the fuck he calls it. Should I say mess? Can I say that? Can I say that it probably will never get finished? Can I do, go ahead and do that? Uh, he's got my cutting torch out here. Let's see what the fuck he's doing. What are you doing, Larry? Huh? You taking a nap down there? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. What's going on? Oh, man. What's up? Not much. What are you working on today, dude? Everything. Like what? Well, uh, taking a little bit here, a little bit there. 
That doesn't tell us nothing, Larry. Well, that does because I'm not doing a whole lot, Pete. <laughs> yeah, we noticed. It's been like three and a half weeks. You ain't done shit, dude. I know. I've been, okay. I haven't been here. In what three are you and doing weeks. right now? Taking some shocks off? Man, the, what is that? This here is the, is the gas tank. Are you taking the gas tank out? No, I'm taking the hoses that go to the gas tank. Why don't you out. cut them with a knife or something? Because I don't want to cut them. Now, does that go to the original car that this frame went to, or is that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And what are you going to do with it? I don't know yet, Pete. Well, what do you mean, dude? I'm rushing. You're rushing me. This is a. This is a. But we caught you on the job sleeping here, Larry, on yeah. your blanket. <laughs> okay, we caught you sleeping, dude. Oh, we were busted. All right, so you're removing gas hoses and, and the body isn't sitting on the frame yet, Larry. No, it looks like you still got a lot of work going on here for the transformation of your Frankenstein automobile, bud. Yeah. Let me ask you another question. What the fuck's going on with my cutting torch, Larry? What are you cutting? Cut those right there. How's that shade tree treating you? Is it doing pretty good? Great. Yeah. Well, at least it's not 900 degrees today, Larry. Hey, it feels about 60 under here. Now, what are you going to do with the shocks, dude? I see you cut those off. I ain't cut them yet. Are you going to? Yep. So why are you going to, why don't you just use the shocks you got? Because they're too long. Too long? They're too long, Pete. How are they too long, dude? Well, look at them. They're almost on the ground. Well, that's because they're gas hey, shocks. Yeah. Push them in, Larry. They're too long. Look, they're almost on the ground. So, uh, it looks like the body's almost semi-mounted, so are we going to have to weld some brackets on there to bolt it down, or what? Yes, we will. Is it going to sit on the frame like that, Larry, and have that much wheel space in the opening, or? No, it's jacked up, Pete. No, it looks like the back of it's actually sitting on the frame, Larry. No, it's not. There's block of wood right over here. I don't see a block of wood. I see a piece of rotted out metal right sitting on top of a frame, Larry. There. No, it's not. You show me where it's sitting on the frame. I see it right there. I'm looking at it. Okay, well, we're going to leave you with your mess here, bud. I kind of feel sorry for it, Larry, the way you're mass destructioning it and, and, and treating it like an abominable fucking monster here, dude. Just the way it goes, Pete. It's an inanimate object. An inanimate object? What does that mean? Does that mean that uh, it, it doesn't really matter what the fuck anybody else thinks? It's my project to go fuck yourself? Pretty much. That's what I thought. Thank you, Larry, for <laughs> giving us an update on that. Now, did you go buy a brand new chain or what? I've had that for a while. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you didn't have to do that. I got chain. I got two of them. I got that one and I got a shorter one. All right, well, good luck, dude. We'll be back with you in a couple days or weeks or months to see how far you're along. Okay. All right. I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, I bet you will. So there you go. Uh, three weeks to get it from uh, up in the air to down on the frame. Is it going to be running in 2016? I seriously fucking doubt it. I don't think so. I think Larry's spinning his wheels with this project and basically needs to go back to the lawnmower business. Seems to me like he had a lot better luck dealing with that little machine than with this machine right here. But he's staying busy, you know? He's staying busy and he's doing something. And, and, and he ain't sitting on his ass at home watching TV or possibly watching YouTube, this ridiculous video that we're making about it. He's actually busy doing something. Thank God. <laughs>